Why did you make it? Huh? Why did you say I did something to it? No. Huh? Why did what flattened it? Well, what did you do to it? I didn't do anything. You didn't do anything? Hey, you know what? Sometimes life is a little like that. Get a little sideways. Got to refocus things and get things back in gear. In this case, we just need to fix a valve stem. Not a problem. Hey, what are we doing today on the farm? Well, a whole bunch of things. It's the weather's pretty nice and the uh, soil conditions are not bad. So we're getting ready to start uh, manure. That's a big thing. So we've got the, the semi and the blue truck ready. We've got the deer here kind of fixed up, we think for the time being. Got to do a little work on that tire. Uh, skid steer, we're going to go down and build a ramp uh, to help us to load the semi with the tractor. And um, so the red tractor got to get it over here and get it the bucket worked on and hopefully get that accomplished so a lot's going to go on today we'll see how much of it we can get done and you know what come along for the ride because what else is there i mean there's all kinds of good things to do that you, if you think about it here in a second then you won't you won't watch this anymore <laughs> but uh, hey come grow with us because we're learning something all the time and i uh, hope you are too Now I know what you're thinking. Man, what a beautiful tractor. Uh, no, I'm gonna fix it. It had a uh, bad valve stem that still has fluid in it. And I know most tractors today, they don't tinker with that. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna fix the valve stem. Thereby I've got the correct air pressure in there and I wanna keep the tractor running. It has only 157 hours on it. Uh, I'll show you here because I wrote it on the oil filter, see? Uh, 157 hours brand new man kind of like me so anyways off to get that at the parts store the long and short of it sometimes sometimes you need to just leave things alone well i thought i was going to make this better and i didn't i made it much worse so now <laughs> the tractor stuck right here in front of the shop in the road of everything i gotta wait on the tire man but he'll get it he'll get it sometimes just leave it alone <laughs> By the way, if you haven't liked or subscribed, subscribe and also like. Now, liking, I know, is a little tricky sometimes, but we appreciate it. And uh, it helps us to kind of see where we need to go with what we're doing. Also, the comments help as well. So, thanks again. Here's what we're doing today. We're putting on some turkey litter, uh, turkey manure, and we're shooting for about a three to four ton spread. Uh, it's not always exact, but we're trying to get as close as we can. This particular farm is is, uh, is a really beautiful farm, and we want to do the best for it. And it 
it is uh, needs some uh, conservation uh, practices on it, and so uh, we no-till that or as close to it as we can. And putting on the litter sure does help. It makes it kind of almost seem, or sometimes it just pretends like it is uh, some that good black dirt in my fall, anyways. So, that's what we're doing today. I try to show you a little bit of, about that and how that works. We just loaded the spreader, typically that type of load right there for our little spreader, which is a 16 foot BBI, is uh, between five and six ton. Uh, we typically call it five ton when we're spread. Spread a, it's supposed to spread about a 28 foot pattern. So, I've got the uh, iPad in here. I'm working on some stuff for planting, but uh, use a camera in the back. We can switch between uh, seeing the bed or seeing out the rear end and so that helps because then I can accurately tell where we're at Then we also use GPS and I can tell how many acres and we can kind of gauge What we do is we put here on the paper How many ton how many acres we've covered thereby we have a pretty good idea of what kind of tonnage we get on so that GPS is doing that for us. It is not auto steer it does not spread it automatically. We do that with speed uh, in this tractor. But we do have the camera and I'm getting the iPad fixed up here to where it is supposed to do it on the precision planning climate field view. There's supposed to be a way I can map on there, but I haven't got it figured out yet. And on this 1970, it's supposed to be a 72, but I, I keep looking on the internet. It says that they didn't make it. Anyway, this, this, lovely old tractor has a grand total of 156 159 hours now 159 hours it's almost brand new almost brand new 40 same age as me 47 years ago hey but we're having a blast it's a beautiful day um, beautiful beautiful out so hope you're having a good day where you are but come along and and uh, let's let's grow a little together So we're mapping right here, and if you can see, maybe there's some the manure coming out. That's how it works up here. This farm is a beautiful farm. Right now we're on top of the world. It is gorgeous. All right, so one load at a time. That's what we're in.
So we're at volume. Let's talk about volume. When turkey litter is dry, obviously it weighs less. Water does add to it. It is therefore difficult for the person spreading the litter, unless they have access to scales, and we do not have any kind of scales on this. It's kind of hard to, well, it's kind of hard to judge what you're putting on if you're going to talk about tonnage. And every, everybody does it by tons. That's, what, that's just the way they do it. So, in that respect, you can do that. You just got to realize that what you're really putting on is water. So, what we're trying to shoot for is three ton or two ton of, of litter dry. But if I have wet litter, it doesn't put on the same. So, what we then do is try to judge. Shadow kind of is the guru at that. Judge speed. The, the litter spreader gate stays the same. He says he's ready now. Okay, I got the thumbs up, so I gotta go. So, we'll talk about that more in a minute. So, by judging speed, the gate on the spreader stayed the same. We attempt to put on the same approximate amount of material and in this case that's nutrients doesn't mean we're perfect doesn't mean that's the right way to do it but that's that's what we're attempting to do so people want to say well I put on da, 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 da. yes if, if you have scales on, on your fertilizer buggy or your fertilizer applicator they can do wonderful things for those, for those. and you can get pretty close to what we're doing doesn't mean that it's exactly perfect. Doesn't mean that we don't get off once in a while. Just like right now, I got offline. I'll get over there. So uh, volume is really what we're putting on instead of uh, tonnage. And we actually want units of nutrients. If you think about that, I, I, what I'm really shooting for is X number of nitrogen units, X number of phosphate units or potassium units. That's what I'm really looking for in this thing. So, but meanwhile, we'll keep spreading. Uh, I just feel the sun is going down and uh, feel pretty good about getting started here. Part of the thing is getting lined up. You got to get in here kind of square into the tractor so that the loader man doesn't have to do a bunch of movement as he puts it in here. So you kind of angle yourself up to the pile. Hopefully you can see over there. Hope you, it's really hard sometimes if you're not careful you dig a hole in the ground where you're loading a little litter. That's tough too. He's doing a good job. Better than I most of the time. So he counts his buckets. Hey, by the way, I don't know if you like podcasts. I like podcasts. This is one I listen to a lot. Shark Farmer podcast. Pretty good. Pretty good. If you're into growing, baking, and things rural, agricultural. That's how the spreader camera works. Now, if you look here, see, I gotta get just right. There, let's see right there. See those little red dots? If I keep all the dots green, boy, it's hard to do this and hold the camera. Or hold the phone. Right there, that's perfect. Yeah, that was perfect. Uh -oh. Something like that. That's what you're supposed to do. Well, it is snack time, and you know, it's pretty nice when your wife brings you dinner and it's your anniversary. <laughs> And she is awesome. So, I'm having, I had two hot dogs. I got some chips of oil. I had an apple, actually. I got some other good vitamins there. We're getting closer. Getting closer. So, Terry's up there about to get this pile and this field done. Still coming out of the back. Radar looks okay for now. But I have found that my LEDs on both the back end of the spreader and the uh, inside light are not working. 
smoking. And what I found was, was I use uh, cigarette lighter plugs to do it. And they, uh, the end is gone. So I will tomorrow work on that. out of the end of barn three about to get them all clean it's not easy you can't really see and, and the, the skid steer ain't quite tall enough but he gets her full he for sure gets her full and he says that's it one of the cool things this spring is the kids got to go play sports and uh, we're glad that they're back in sports. But I get to watch it on here while I'm working. This is cool. So I'm pretty excited. I can't be there, I'm disappointed in that, but you know what, at least I can watch sort of up there, as long as I can keep the tractor moving straight. Questions so we can all learn together. Come and go with us.